All right, welcome to my, uh, what's it called? Uh, Frost one-hand DPS spec. So, like I said before, I was gonna look and see if I can get some uh, decent one-handers. And I, you know, went through the trouble of crafting these, you know, they're only 660, they're stage three of the, you know, six basically, but four would be ideal, but, or at least four would be ideal. But uh, this should be good enough to do a decent amount of DPS and show off the rotation a bit. Uh, the changes in the stats and glyphs, uh, stats are the same. Uh, still, haste is a big deal, and uh, you know, because like I mentioned in my tank video, haste is pretty good as far as uh, rune regeneration rate, and also, more importantly, uh, getting you the um, the faster attacks so that you can get your killing machine procs more often. It also makes your diseases tick uh, more often, so that gives you more damage per you know disease. Um, and then the other thing is uh, we're going to change out a couple things. Um, I got rid of Necrotic Plague and got Breath of Sintergross instead. Um, that's purely because um, <laughs> Necrotic Plague not really necessary anymore. Because instead of using Obliterate, we're just going to replace Obliterate on our bar with Plague Strike. Because um, you don't really need to use Obliterate anymore. Um, you're kind of wasting the Frost Rune if you're doing it. So the huge difference here in the rotation is going to be that instead of using Obliterate as your, you know, most common attack, instead you're actually using Howling Blast. And that's good for uh, a couple different things. It's actually not bad for AoE, because you're going to hit a bunch of targets with AoE. And it's also good for keeping your diseases up. And you only have two Unholy runes, so you'll end up using your Unholy and your Plague Strike runes uh, pretty commonly. Now, you could do... Uh, if you wanted, you could instead do uh, only use your Frost Runes on Howling Blast and use Obliterate with your Death and Unholy, but um, it's not, I don't, it hasn't been as effective as just using, uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> just using Plague Strike. Um, and you still have your Plague Leech, so you're able to get uh, a couple more runes and do some more damage and get some more RP. So without further ado, here goes the rotation. So basically we're going to lead off with uh, Plague Strike, Howling Blast, and then just Howling Blast, Howling Blast, Howling Blast, uh, Plague Strike. As soon as we get a proc for Killing Machine, we're going to use that. We're going to use up our uh, Plague Leech whenever it's on cooldown, and then just reapply the diseases. And then the main thing is just Howling Blast. And then again, uh, whenever Killing Machine procs, just hit that Frost Strike. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you just use your Frost Strike try to save it for um, for your killing machine procs but if it's going to if you're gonna cap out on uh, RP and you're gonna be just wasting an attack to get, and getting no RP from it by all means use a frost strike to fill in the gap uh, but for the most part pretty decent uh, as far as DPS goes um, really not having any problem keeping up with my previous uh, damage output with the two hand actually beating it by a little bit and that's kind of that says a bit because I have a much weaker weapon than I had so pretty good stuff uh, I'd say one hand frost definitely the way to the, the way to go uh, especially if you have a higher gear score uh, the more the better your gear the better off you're gonna do in one hand um, once you get to that 685 level of gear uh, you're pretty much the top DPS spec, aside from maybe an arcane mage. Uh, so you definitely, definitely go one hand frost if you can uh, find the weapons for it. And that's pretty much it. So uh, any questions, comments, feel free to put them down there in the uh, comment box. And uh, if you like this, you know, give me a like. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe. Then I'll do more. Uh, and that's it. See you next time.